Yo, what is up guys? Brandon here from Red Black Productions, and today I'm going to teach you how to mask out text where we have a video playing inside our text. So let's go ahead and find our video that we want to play inside. Now that we got it, let's go and drag it onto the timeline. Alright, so as you can see, this is fire, and what I want is it to be playing inside a text. So now that we have this, let's go in our text over here. And make sure we scroll down to custom. Now that we select custom, let's go and drag it on top of our video. And adjust the framing a bit. Alright, now that our text, we can go and edit it. So let's go to our inspector window over here. And let's call it, let's call it fire. And let's adjust it to make it bigger. And let's make it bold. Now let's go and transform it over here to reposition it to wherever we like. Alright, now that we're done and we're happy with the position of our text and the video, what we're going to do is make sure we're back on the inspector window over here and go to video over here in this video tab. Now let's scroll down to the very bottom to the compositing. Now the blending mode, we're going to go and change it to stencil alpha. And there we go, we just pretty much t uh, masked out our text in Final Cut Pro 10. Pretty easy, right? Now it's good, but it's not great. So to enhance that fire look, what I'm going to do is make sure that we select our text over here and go back on our inspector window and go to text. Now under text, let's scroll down to drop shadow. So let's go and click drop shadow over here and press show. Alright, now let's go and add our drop shadow by playing around with these. So let's say we want to make it about this much. And the opacity, let's let's make it a little light and blur it to the max. Alright, that's looking a lot better. It's looking a lot fiery right now. So now we want to get rid of this black background. So to get rid of it, make sure while we're still selected on the text, hold command and go and select our video. Now that they're both selected, we right click and press new compound clip and press OK. And there we go! Let's just go and reposition it. And there we go! We just pretty much masked out our text in Final Cut Pro 10. Pretty easy, right? So now you guys know how to put a video playing inside your text. So once again, this is Brandon from Red Black Productions, and if you found this video helpful, feel free to leave a comment down below, smash that like button, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Laters!